Hey, welcome to the Raising the Standard Show. I'm Dr. Andrea Ramirez, and it is my joy to get to introduce you to my co-host, Pastor Roland Rodriguez, who at my house is known as our pastor of our family, of our uh, of my husband and I, and, and the Lord has just blessed us with um, the wisdom that you have. And, and I know that many of you feel the same way, where you have a pastor come into your life, and they journey with you um, in different seasons of your life, and that's what Pastor Roland has certainly been to us and who he is to us. And so, welcome. Thanks hey. for being Amen. Thank you for inviting me, and, and uh, praise God. It's, it is an honor for me to, uh, to be here and to uh, co-host this program uh, with uh, Dr. Um, Andrea Ramirez. And today, we are focusing on uh, impacting lives through education and, and, and the, uh, the importance of uh, understanding and, and, and just being obedient uh, um, uh, to, to continue impacting lives through uh, education and, 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 and to see many uh, young ladies and young men uh, just continue their education uh, because somebody wants to invest in their lives. That's right, because sometimes we see uh, our faith in Christ and education as two separate tracks, but in reality, God is bridging those. There's a That's nexus right. between our faith in Christ and our, in, our, and our uh, view of education and educational um, issues that surround you know, education reform and, and so many areas that education touches. And so we not only have one MD in the house today, but we have two MDs in the house and we're going to hear right. from them later on. So we're excited about hearing from both Drs. Gonzalez uh, Justo and, and Blanca Gonzalez. And we're just very excited to hear what God has placed on their hearts and the wisdom that he has um, instilled in them that they are ready to share with you at home. Amen. You know, and, and I'm, I'm excited also because we have, uh, we have great news uh, yeah. at the end of this program. We yeah. want to announce something and you might want to continue there listening to this program because we have great news at the end of this program. Yes, we have a surprise that you're just not going to want to miss. It's going to impact students and there's going to be an opportunity. So be sure to grab a notepad and a pen because you're not going to want to miss what's coming down the pipeline. Amen. So just stay sure. tuned and we're excited to share it with you. We're excited what God is doing and how he's preparing for students' journeys, their academic journeys, their spiritual journeys, and, and we're just thrilled. So we're going to jump into our conversation with Dr. Gonzalez and Dr. Gonzalez. Um, I wanted to tell you a little bit about each one. Um, first, we're going to talk to Dr. Justo Gonzalez, and you've served on the Faculty of Medicine in um, Monterrey, Mexico, in Monterrey, uh -huh. um, where my family is from a Little Pueblito Santa Rosa, which is right there close to that area. And then you've worked in anesthesiology at Parkland Hospital here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, and then also have a private practice as well. And you're a, a strong brother in the Lord, and so we welcome you. Thank you Amen. for being here, and, and we're ready to, to jump in and, and start talking about what God has placed on your heart. So thanks for being here. Well, thank Amen. you for inviting me. Absolutely. Amen. And, uh, Dr. Gonzalez, uh, why is education important for you? Because it's biblical. <laughs> Knowledge is better than gold. Amen. Amen. Wow, that's wonderful. So, uh, um, what, what is your, uh, what do you specialize um, on? I'm a, uh, for the last 45 years, I'm an anesthesiologist, mm -hmm. a pain management specialist, mm -hmm. an anti-aging specialist, wow. and some other things. So wow. You don't need to. So anti-aging and pain management. management. Mm -hmm. Wow. Those are really big pieces that impact the body because if you think about holistically, not just with our, our hearts and our souls and our minds, but you know, God has given us this body to, to do earth uh, with and we need to take care of it. And so, um, you know, as you think about your, your medical degree and, and pursuing that, uh, what advice would you give students at home who want to go far in their academic journey? Well, basically, get around people who have been there. Yeah. That is, places you go, yeah. people you meet, yeah. the books you read, yeah. oh, wow. that will structure yeah. that young man or young woman. Yeah. So basically, uh, get around uh, people for mentoring mm -hmm. and who are masters in, in their mm -hmm field, yes. you know, and they have uh, some inclination of what their gift is, yeah. and each person is, has a talent or gift that, yeah. that they might know of, but they might not know of, yeah. but everyone has that, and God has given this to spark in them yeah. the continuation of that gift, mm -hmm. 
That's right. And getting people closer to, to Christ. It's so exciting mm -hmm. to see people in their, when they are, their passion is activated towards the Lord because then Absolutely. we get to see glimpses of what the Lord has placed in them and how that's connected to their, their earthly assignment is connected to their eternal purpose and, and bringing true. those two together. Um, you know, we've got parents at home who have students who um, maybe are struggling with grades. What, what advice would you give those parents? For the people who are struggling, Basically, not to be not to be ashamed. You know, that we're, our minds are different. Each, mm -hmm. each each person is wired differently. Right. Uh, they have to be around the people who are patient with them, mm. and to be able to direct them in the right direction. Mm -hmm. Because each individual, each person, each child, mm -hmm. they they learn at a different rate. Mm -hmm. You know, one is sharp as a whip. The other one, just a little bit of uh, hard knocks and a school of hard knocks, and it's not the same. Right. But they have the capability mm. to be directed by the ones who can, the teachers uh, are real sharp in detecting these things mm. nowadays mm -hmm. and, and a lot of uh, attention disorders and right. things like that. Right. And, uh, and if, they can, uh, if they can diagnose them quickly, yeah. they can get the proper uh, direction and continue on and be in the profession and, and the college and their own profession. Yes. We all have a little bit of a, these different personality traits. I think it's so powerful for parents to remember that it, it does take some patience because not everybody learns at the same rate. Absolutely. And so uh, that not to give up hope on your student if you don't see them excelling right away, that, it, that it is important for us to really see that they, they have the potential and that it may take a little bit longer or it may be around a different track or with That's a different right. type of learning style but it is possible so don't give up That's on your student um, or their some, uh, sometimes we can label kids you know right we can say well you know he's a little slow or he's a little whatever and no. to be cautious about that to still see that potential that is still within each one that's that right sense. and it's all for his glory for that's God's right. glory that's right you know yeah. God made yeah no junk that's right you know so, that's oh, good. That person is not good for anything. No, you'd be surprised. So cautious. <laughs> you'd be surprised yes. how that person can bring more people to Christ. Yes, yeah. that's so but, true. Because uh, it, uh, it can happen culturally where we kind of get into name calling, indirect, you know, right. indirect name calling or that labeling, going back to. And I love what you said about knowledge, uh, that's straight from scripture, right? Knowledge Absolutely. is better than gold. Um, sometimes there's concern with. Um, pursuing education in general. Sometimes people get a, a little bit nervous about their child going to college or pursuing their academic journey. Um, what, what do you say to that? What advice do you have? No, uh, in education, you never go wrong. Mm. You never go wrong because uh, it's not just knowledge, mm -hmm. facts, uh, data. Mm -hmm. No, you have to have understanding. Mm. You have to go further than that, the how to Mm -hmm. Use that knowledge. Right. You have to have wisdom mm. to be able to discern mm -hmm. these things. Mm -hmm. So you have to add all these together to make you a master of what you do. Mm -hmm. And the situation comes, you're able to have those different ta tactics or strategies, yeah. that proper, that timing, yeah. you know, to take advantage of that, get more leverage, yeah. get more, more odds in your favor yeah. to be able to pursue all going on and on, mm. onward. Yeah. And this mainly is to make more Christ-like people. That's right. That's right. When it's focused Amen. that way, Amen. it's totally different. That, that focus makes all the difference. Absolutely. So, well, Dr. Gonzalez, you, I, I know um, you have a passion for education and also impacting the lives of students. Um, wh why is that important for you? Well, the importance here in the, to impact students, because I've been there. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I had to leave. Uh, I, I was 18 years out of my country, in the United wow. States. I went to Mexico to mm -hmm. study. Wow. I know wh how hard wh why is that? Wow. Why did you go to yeah. Mexico to study? Because I, my dad didn't have the means. Wow. I realized that after, after ninth grade, I'm not a I'm uh, uh, scholarship for sports. Mm -hmm. um, my dad is a construction worker. Mm -hmm. So I thought, well, I had already learned how to read and write mm -hmm. my dad. So I had dual citizenship. My aunts oh. and uncles and grandparents in Mexico. And so I went over there, equivalent testing, and passed it. 
and then continue there. Wow. Cheap as uh, can be because wow. I was paying uh, 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 not, uh, Mexican tuition. Mm -hmm. It's almost free. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, now you're 18. You're gonna you're gonna say uh, uh, your citizenship, uh, American or, or Spanish, Mexican. Well, I just came to study. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go back home. Yeah. So then the tuition is American, ten times more, but that's still cheap. Right. So, to, so you so went to you went to study to, you went to Mexico to study because uh, really because you have no the means. resources to study here. Wow. Absolutely. And then after you graduated there, you 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 came to the states and continue your Con education here. Uh, yes, sir. I, uh, I continued in, in university hospitals in Iowa City, Iowa, and then to university hospitals in oh. in Parkland Hospital, and then yeah. I was a professor there and taught yeah. there continuously there, and now. I'm going to mission trips with my son, who's also a professor. So, yeah. so we go to different countries and teach residents, and so we're having fun. Wow, wow. now you're investing yeah. in the lives of others. Absolutely, absolutely. Wow. I this see, is powerful. Yes, I, I see that, uh, that passing on the baton, yeah. you know, and, and they, they invite you, mm -hmm. the old guy, you know, who has the experience, yeah. you know, to continue teaching them because yeah. they have not seen some of the things I do. That's right. Well, and, and Dr. Gonzalez, now, now that you're saying um, this, is um, you also, you and your wife, have uh, a, um, a foundation. You, you, uh, th tell us about that foundation. Yeah. Well, basically, it, it's, a, it's in, in, in honor of uh, my father-in-law, uh, Don Antonio Sanchez. He was a teacher for... So it's the Antonio Sanchez Foundation. Yes, sir, at Wheaton College. Mm -hmm. Wheaton College. All our three kids went to Wheaton What is College. the main oh, purpose Wheaton. of this foundation? The main purpose is to be able to help unfortunate, uh, who, uh, unfortunate people who are unable to... They have the means mentally mm. by testing, right. but they don't have the means monetarily the, the resources. Wow. to resources, resources to, right. to enter. Yeah. So that, that, is, uh, that is meant Wonderful. for them. Excellent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, and I know that you have a surprise that you'd like to share, and so we'd love to hear from um, both you and your wife about what you would like to share regarding the Antonio um, Foundation. And I missed the last one. It's Antonio Sanchez, right? Foundation. Correct. Correct. Foundation. Correct. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Hermana um, Gonzalez, Dr. Um, Gonzalez, um, why? Why investing in the lives of students? Why not? Mm. Somebody had done for me. Mm. Somebody did for us. That's right. It's like given a lot of for to us. Mm. This is time for us to share and That's to right. give. Wow. wow. So this is uh, Dr. Ramirez. This is the uh, the uh, surprise that we have for <laughs> yes, for you. For viewers and if home. you're listening and and if you uh, you better take notes from That's this. Right. You better get a pen and 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 and, and a pad. Start writing mm -hmm. because. Um, this is the surprise. We, uh, we are through the Antonio Sanchez Foundation and also a donor that, uh, that is, is a part of this foundation and, and, um, and contributing uh, to this foundation. His name is Pedro, Pedro Collantes. And, and um, so we, we thank you and we also are grateful for Hermano Pedro Collantes and, yes, and yeah. Andrea. They are presenting a, a scholarship. So. So through faith and education, mm -hmm. we can provide this scholarship to students. Absolutely. So at, at home, what we want you to know is there are new scholarships available to you at faithandeducation.com through the Antonio Sanchez Foundation, through the donor that you just mentioned. Uh -huh. Hermano saying? Pedro Collantes. Yes. Um, and so we want to thank the doctors, both doctors Gonzalez, for presenting this, for allowing um, your dad's life to impact other lives because if you're watching at home maybe God is calling you to do something and you've been wondering you know I have the means mentally I, I've passed my test but I'm struggling financially well, what do I do and maybe God is let, allowing you to watch this or maybe you're a mom or a dad or a grandparent that says my student needs to apply for this scholarship maybe the Lord is opening up the door for you today to have access to funds um, that you wouldn't have had access to if you weren't watching this show today because our God is a provider he mm, provides uh, in every possible way right. and money is is something that is is one way that he provides for us so that we can fulfill 
um, our our purpose here. And so we're just so excited that God is opening up this opportunity for scholarships to be available to you here at home. And so um, go to faithandeducation.com, find out more about it. And we just want to take some time to pray over the scholarship and the students that will receive this and, and to thank God for, um, for these lives that have invested in education for the glory of God. So we're going to pray real quickly over these students. And Father, we just praise you, Lord. We thank you because mm -hmm. you are our provider, Lord. Yes. You um, have every means and resources available to you, and you um, meet our needs. And so for the, the dollars that, be, that um, belong to the students that will uh, receive them, we ask that you would put a special blessing on these students' lives, that they would use these dollars for your glory, and that they would obtain their education um, so that they can really love you with the entirety of their minds. We ask a special blessing over these students, and thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. 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 We're so excited um, for you at home. Make sure that you go to faithandeducation.com and find out more about these scholarships. We want to thank doctors, both doctors uh, Gonzalez for being here. Thank, thank you, you for sharing this, and uh, we want you to know at home uh, how you can take part in something that's happening across the United States.